what's happening in YouTube Murphy and welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be opening up the Shiny Legends Treasure Collection Chest. So yeah, pick this one up today, it's fairly new I'm pretty sure. And yes that is my light day, you can see, pretty annoying, but it'll get rid of it after the plastic goes. But yeah, I haven't opened Shiny Legends in a while, so hopefully we can get something awesome out of this. And if you missed my previous few videos, I opened up, I did two back battles and a, uh, the Crimson Invasion Booster Box one, so I'll leave a link to them at the end of the video. Yeah, hello says you check them out. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Don't even eat it. I like the look of these treasure chests, the tins, but you use them as a lunchbox or anything, which is cool. Take that off, just as that. Show you look at the tin with the wrap off. You can still see the light, that's how shiny this thing is. I mean, I guess that's why it's called Shining Legends, but... I do the pun. I'm doing a lot of puns lately. <laughs> It's so neatly presented too. That looks cool. Pull out everything here. Ugh. There's everything out. I'll leave that over there. So we've got a mini collector's album. If you want to store your cards in there. Got a notepad. These are always pretty cool, I've got to say. What else do we have? We've got stickers, I'm pretty sure. We've got Pikachu and Shining Mew. And we've got Shining Rayquaza, Mewtwo, and Shining Genesect. Four pencils. And we've got the cards themselves. And a pretty cool looking coin, I gotta say. I really like that coin. Something different, which is good. It's like a blue purple, kind of blue grey. It's weird. It's weird. I'm liking it. Something different, I've got to say. And we've got three cards that actually just pop out too. And there's a code card behind it too. You always like to hide the code cards, but yeah, I hope you guys get something good at that. Don't know what you get exactly, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you do pick up that code. Love to know what you get in it. I'm pretty sure it'll probably just be the promos. Don't know where you get the packs or not. Now, I've seen some people get good stuff out of these and bad stuff, so we'll see what we can get. Leave them up to the side. Yeah, five packs. Why can they make a six? I had to make an odd number, I gotta say, but five packs, two shiny mirrors, I believe. Right. Oh, no, we'll, gonna, we'll do it in that order. We'll do it in this order. Come out with mine today. Good thing is, it doesn't matter about the codes, so it doesn't have to fight over them. Three, four, two. Still need a few cards from this set, a few of the hyper rares, that uh, tube Mewtwo and all that. The first pack, we've got a Shroomish, Golet, Purloin, Plusle, Stunfisk, Grass Energy, Ultra Ball, Damage Mover, Volcarona, Toracat, ooh, and an Entei GX. I swear this is the GX I pulled the most. It's all I keep getting, but not complaining, still a GX nonetheless. But we've got something out of it, so that's a start. Good start. Okay, next to that we've got a Shroomish, Glitten, Larvesta, Purloin, Minin, Steel Energy, Warp Energy, Feraligator, Lipard, Latios, which is pretty cool, we've got two Latioses now, and a Zekrom Gladiosis right now, pretty much the exact opposite art, opposite way around. Actually it is, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, third pack. <sighs> can get into it. This means this pack has something in it. <laughs> that's a theory of mine. When packs are hard to open, they've got something in it. Probably completely wrong. But we've got a plusle. Zora, Ivysaur, Torkoal, Minin, Electric Energy, Feraligator, Lipard, Pokemon Catcher, Plusle again, and a Yvettle. And I think that's the most hollow I pull all the time as well, which is Yvettle. Can we get one more hit? I hope so. It's 
happened with Toricat, Freelane, Minin, La Vesta, Torkoal, Fire Energy, Carnivine, for Alligator, Sophocles, which I still don't know why they reprinted that in this when it just came out in Burning Shadows, Ultra Ball, oh, and a Shaman. It all comes down to the final pack to see if it's a one hit box. Product, I should say. I've got a feeling it's gonna be, but you never know. Final pack starts off with a Croconaw, La Vesta, Flitten, Breloom, Toracat, Ground Energy, or Fighting Energy, Super Scoop Up, Energy Retrieval, Warp Energy, Brizian Rare Reverse, oh, and a Mana Piece. We only got the one hit today in Entei, but it's still pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. The promos are cool enough alone, that that made no sense what I just said, but the promos are cool is what I meant to say. But yeah, and all the cool products we go with it. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video anyway. I'll leave a link to some few videos here that I mentioned earlier. Subscribe up here. Thank you all for your support, and I'll see you all in the next video.